Hey, Tacoma Comics here. This is going to be the last, very last contest update because my contest ends soon. Today is April 12th. Originally, I said my contest would end April 14th because that would have been a month since I started it. But that is dumb for two reasons. A, I only got seven uh, entrants and I want to get a few more people opportunity to enter. So last minute alert, last minute alert, uh, bleh, 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 last minute alert. I cannot speak after a full day of speak. I got a bit of cheese on my, like, Jesus Christ. All right, ADD kicking in. After a full day of speaking to my students, I can't speak for my uh, videos. Last minute alert. Uh, April 15th is Sunday. It's tax day. Don't do your taxes, do my contest video, more important. Um, and I'll check uh, the morning of the 16th, probably sometime in the day when I get to school or after classes or lunchtime. Uh, I'll check the 16th and I'll try to do the drawing uh, the afternoon of the 16th, maybe I'll go live. We'll go live, get you guys some awesome prizes. Um, got a box full of comics and I'll be adding a few more bits and pieces here and there. Um, so let me go over my contest one more time. The usual age and subscription requirements that seem to be uh, de rigueur of everybody's contest these days. Uh, I haven't said U.S. only, so I will ship. The <laughs> it gets expensive, man. So uh, we'll figure something out if you're if you're out of the country. Um, let's see. You've got to do an A O K. A uh, lot of different ways to do it. At the end of this video, I've got two more clips I'm going to throw in, show you uh, two different AOKs. So, you know, some people don't like to show what they are sending to their friends. Don't show what you're sending to your friends. Be like, you know, I've got this comic on the other side of here. I don't want you to show, show you what it is, but it's going to this person. That's cool. I mean, I trust you. Look, if you're going to take the time to do a, a video entry in my contest, I don't think you're making up an AOK. So if you want to keep it secret, that's fine. Um, it's just got to be, oh, what's wrong, sweetie? You okay? Dog sees a squirrel out there. Um, so, yeah, an, an A-OK. -okay. Just, just give an act of kindness to someone. It doesn't actually have to be comic books. I mean, I think that's kind of understood. Most of you that are following me are comic book fans, but you want to give your friends something else, you know, an act of kindness. That's, that's all I'm doing is I want to support the kindness in this community because it's just really darn cool um, to see people giving stuff away. I didn't know that I was... Um, getting stuff from Pop Dot Comics when I won a random subscriber giveaway she did. When I bought stuff from Jason Smith, uh, I was supposed to be getting like 30 books, uh, Wolverine books for 30 bucks. He threw in like uh, 40 books. Um, so that sort of stuff is just really cool to me. I really dig that. Um, I like to see that stuff going around. The AOK -okay is not to me. I don't want your free stuff, at least not for this comic, uh, this contest. That's not cool. Um, I'm not doing this to get stuff for myself. I'm doing this to get stuff sent around the world and for the love to be spread. So please go ahead and spread that love. Um, you know, and that's it. So I'm going to just uh, show you who's I got entered into my contest because I want to make sure that I got those people. And the wife's home. She hates being on my video, so I'm going to cut this short as she walks by quickly. Um, I think that's it. So, yeah, I'm going to go through the list of people I've got entered, and then I'll go through the, uh, the prizes, and then I'll show you the two examples, and that'll be it for this video. All right, check you guys in a bit. So these are the people, the wonderful YouTubers who have done a contest entry, or at least these are the people whose contest entries I have found. The best thing to do if you want to enter the contest is when you make your video, put a link to your video in the comment section of my original contest video. But if you screw that up and somehow you made one and it didn't work out, just let me know. Um, I'm pretty easy that way. I found a couple comments were held up for review by YouTube and so I had to go in, into my, my messages and approve them and all sorts of weirdness. Anyway, Matilda Gothica. All right, she just was fangirling over some Rye comics she's got. She's out in Israel, I believe, and uh, does not have some LCSs. It's, it's tough for her to get stuff, so really great that she's part of the community. Seeking Near Mint Comics, you guys all know him. Uh, great member, I believe he's local to me, kind of, you know, Seattle area. Spectacular Spider Grandpa. Um, did a really nice A-OK -okay for a friend of his. Lindsay's Geeked Out Knickknacks, new on the scene and she's got some really cool stuff really good videos and she's been coming on strong joker 68 
You all know him. He's uh, got a great channel. He's been going through a lot of medical issues lately. I hope he doesn't mind me talking about that. Um, but you know what? He's been dealing with it, and he's been handing out AOKs left and right. Dressier's Comics, another great YouTuber, another great channel, great content, great videos. Go check him out. Sub all these people up if you haven't already. And finally, The Doom. Again, my first subscriber, which totally shocked me. Uh, he did a contest entry, showed some stuff he was going to give away, and then actually he gave away stuff to Airborne Sapper comic, and I saw Airborne Sapper open it up on an unboxing video, and that was just pure joy to watch. So really cool stuff. Like I said, these seven are the people I've got. If you didn't make one, make one, and if you made one and it's not here, let me know. All right, we are sitting on the couch. I don't know why that came unbuttoned. We're going to go through the prizes now. We're on the couch because the, uh, the son is making some comic books for school on the uh, kitchen table. I want to give him some time and privacy. Here's the prizes. Chew number 10. Why? Because I found it for 25 cents at Half Price Books. Freaking idiots. That is more than a 25 cent issue and it's in prime condition. I uh, don't know why it's there. Chew 37. Why? I'm the idiot. I already owned it. Bought it again because it's a variant cover and I thought I had. I Never mind. There's a lot of doubles in here, believe it or not. Hawkeye Generations with both Hawkeyes. Um, picked that up for a dollar today. Realized I already had it. What's up, buddy? Taking a break? Yeah. Okay. Get back to it soon, though. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm collecting this run by Bendis, and I already have this one. I fell behind in my comics over vacation, so I picked up Abbott 3, not realizing that I'd already picked it up. That's a really cool series. I thought I was missing Odyssey 12. I was missing Odyssey 11, so I've got an extra Odyssey 12. It's now yours if you win my contest. Uh, some duplicate Wolverines I had. Triplicate Wolverines I had. Thank you, Jason Smith. Uh, two of those. I've got the third one, obviously, in my collection. Two of those are going out. Uh, Wolverine 46. I thought that's a pretty cool cover. Any saber-tooth cover with Wolverine is going to be pretty cool. Uh, Wolverine 77. And Wolverine 80. Unfortunately, we got a rip here, but this is the X-23 test tube uh, issue. Pretty cool. America number 7. Again, a duplicate. Lumberjanes number 40. Again, a duplicate. Uh, now we got some just cool stuff. I, I picked up uh, War of Jokes and Riddles, 26 and 27, Batman. Thought you might like that. Got this cool variant to uh, 36. And then I got my favorite cover of any of the Batman Rebirth uh, line right there. I think that beats all the wedding covers that are coming out right now. I like that one a lot. So that's in there. Really cool Wonder Woman cover. I think is that um, that's Billiquis Evely. Again, what a great name. Billiquis. B-I-L-I-Q-U-I-S. I threw in a little Rat Queens action there for you. Number eight from the, the new... Um, the new volume, the new series, I don't know, the revamped, whatever you want to call it. Eric Kennedy's cover for Seven to Eternity, number two. Is that number two? Yeah, it's number two. Got a couple Dr. Afris here for you, 11 and 12. But you might like those if you're collecting. Oh, sorry, annual one and 12. Not bad. I told you, get after it. If you're not reading Redlands, six issues, pick up the first volume. Trade should be out soon, or maybe it's already out. Awesome, awesome story. A little Miss Marvel 6 action. You can guess why I threw that one in there. And now we get to like the, the real top good ones, the prizes. Animosity number one, signed by Marguerite Bennett right there. That's that's a nine something all day. Really good quality. I don't see any, any major problems with that. Animosity 12 because, yes, it's a duplicate. You see what happens when you get behind in your comics and you switch LCSs? Just bad things happen, man. Bad things happen. In Mylar now, Motor Girl number one, signed by Terry Moore. Buy her comic or I'll rip your head off. You gotta love it. First animated appearance of Miss Marvel in Avengers Ultron Revolution number 11. <coughs> is this New 52? I guess this is between New 52 and, uh, and um, Rebirth. This is Harley Quinn number one, signed by Chad Harden. 
if you meet uh, Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti at a convention, get them to sign that too. <coughs> Excuse me, get some dry throat. Nathaniel, hand me my coffee, please. Uh, Belfry, this is a horror comic. Um, I got this when I had subscriptions to Blind Box. This is from Image. Um, didn't love it that much, so I threw that in there. This is a Blind Box variant uh, for Fissure, another horror comic. Um, this is a Deadpool number one Marvel Collector Core with a signature. Again, this is a signature by the artist who does the Marvel Collector Core dolls. Um, not terribly rare, but hard to find at least. Excuse me. Allergies are starting to get to me. My nose is stuffed and uh, I'm dripping and my throat's itchy. I haven't been talking and yelling a lot. Vampire Hunter. Don't know much about this, but this is um, <coughs> uh, from Stranger Comics, a, a lesser known um, or smaller publishing company. And this was, again, something I got in uh, blind box subscription. Monster Mechanica number one. Be honest with you, I didn't like that, but maybe you will. Faith number one, signed by Jody Hauser and Kevin Wada. Is it Kevin Wada or Chris Anka? There's a K down there. They sat next to each other at um, Emerald City Comic Con, so I forget which one's which. And then just some uh, back in the day X Men 178, 60 center, so mid 80s. Uh, 196, I always love that cover. It's got a little 30 cent stamp on there. I don't know who was selling this for 30 cents when it came out. And it was 65, but whatever. And then finally, the last two in the box. 254 and 246. Um, these are mid-90s now. Uh, well, early 90s, 254 and 256. So there you go. That is my price pool. Uh, the entire stack looks like this. So that's a nice lot of comics. Uh, I'm going to ship them cheap. <laughs> Slow mail just because it's a heavy thing. But uh, you'll get them and hopefully you'll win. All right. Take care, guys. Hey, my friends. Tacoma Comics here. Kind of working on this update on my uh, subscriber contest and doing this in three parts. I filmed a part at school, filming part tonight, and then uh, tomorrow I'll film the, the update and mesh it all together and upload it. So, Daz the Key Collector. Now, this is not an A-OK -okay to him. It's an A-OK -okay to his son, Ethan, who is awesome and reminds me in a lot of way of my own two sons. Um, cute as can be. Daz is showing his, his son, and his son's collecting Uncanny X-Men, like uh, Tacoma Comics is. And um, I was actually a little jealous. The kids got almost everything from 120 to 130, and those are some of the ones I'm missing. And then under 120, I'm missing most of them, with a few exceptions, down to 94. My original goal was to collect all the Claremonts, um, Giant Size X-Men, number one, number 94, all the way through to 79. Turns out I'm probably gonna go 94 all the way up to uh, all the way up to the last issue. But anyway, um, just uh, I reached out to Daz. I said, "Hey, you know, I'd love to give you a kid a comic or two because I just thought his video. He went through all the X Men he had. Um, he had a big pile of them, and he's like, this is the first appearance. I'm not gonna try to do an English accent. I mean, my parents are English, but I cannot do the accent. Just ask my wife. I cannot do the accent, though she'd love me to. So it's like, this is the first appearance of this, and this is the first appearance of this, and the kid wants to talk about it. Dad's like, keep it moving, keep it moving, and just reminds me of me interacting with my kids. So anyway, um, you got a Gemini comic mailer here. I will cross all this out and put another label over it. Wrote a little note. Uh, Ethan, your enthusiasm for collecting Uncanny X-Men is awesome. Hope these help. Tacoma Comics. Reached out to his dad. Made sure he was okay to send the kid comics because, you know, he's a kid. And that's a little weird. So here's what I got. The one that I told him I had is I just gotten uh, a slightly nicer copy of X-Men 148. Ignore that. It's um, from Midtown Comics. Uh, so I love this issue. Spider-Woman, Kitty Pride, <laughs> and Tazzler. Early Kitty Pride appearance, definitely not her first appearance. Um, so I, I said, hey, you know, does, does he want this? Dad's like, oh, that's awesome, absolutely. Um, then I was just looking through and 293, 308, and 299. I pulled these out of my uh, prize, 
box for my subscriber contest. I've got a whole bunch in there. Don't worry. I just uh, I thought, hey, I've got these extras. Give the kid uh, a head start there. Hopefully, I'll finish my plus <laughs> before he does. But you know, if I don't, that's all I can do. Paper bag. Boom. Inside Gemini comic mailer. If you've never seen these, the way they work is they've got this uh, two pieces of cardboard or a partial piece of cardboard here on top of the actual part that's the box. And then these two flaps, so bagged and boarded, put here. You can bend these at different angles depending on how thick your package is. And then just uh, fold over and fold over, right. just like that. Boom. And there you go. Packaging tape, which I've got at school. I'll take it to school tomorrow and over the post office and put a nice clean label and send it off. Send to the UK. It's going to cost a bit of money, but you know, it's uh, it's cool. It's all worth it. It's not going to break the bank. Um, so like I said, man, I just thought that was that was awesome. There's an example of an AOK. -okay. Uh, my video closes. It says the 14th, right? Which is 13 is Saturday, but that's kind of dumb because everybody does their stuff on the weekend. So I'm going to close my video Sunday the 15th, and I'll just check Monday morning and whatever. Um, Whatever I've got Monday morning is going to be what I go with, uh, and then probably Monday afternoon I'll uh, I'll do the drawing if I've got time. All right, all right, man. Thanks a lot. Send out those AOKs to your friends and uh, surprise them with something nice. Take care. It's Tacoma Comics. Hey guys, a little AOK here. Half Price Books had some pretty uh, extensive collection of Shutter, like one. This is second printing through I don't know one through twenty or something, and. Uh, really cheap prices. Of course, I ripped off the price sticker, but they really weren't much, so it's not like I spent a lot. But you got shutter one, second printing, and shutter number two. This is the door to one of the counselor's office at school. Uh, he is a huge comic fan like me, but he's also young and travels all the time, so he has a uh, limited funds he literally this guy like nepal south america he's all over the place he's spending all his money on cool trips some more power to him so little uh a-ok -okay for the counselor when he gets back from his training tomorrow there's a bunch of uh comic books most of those are free comic book day comics and stuff i give him and he collects and we just let the kids read them when they're in here uh having a bad day so that's all there is to it